What is one of the best mistakes you've ever made and what did you learn from it? Yeah. One of the best mistakes I made. Jason, this is going to sound so silly. I learned it very early on when I was 16 years old. So my first job, Mm -hmm. Cold Stone Creamery, best job ever. Okay, I'm a cheerleader. Mm -hmm. I'm in student government and I work at Cold Stone. So like I'm just excited all the time. Um, Cool job, like making good money, making tips. And this girl and I, and like I'm not really like prone to like confrontation with folks, but this girl and I, we like get into a confrontation at work like cinnamon and caramel sauce was involved, like throwing it around. I was 16 years old. This person, she started it. Like she started the confrontation. I ended it. (laughs) Um, And I got fired and she did not. And when I reflect on that moment, it's so funny because my girlfriends are always like, Brooke, that was like 20 years ago. Let it go. Um, Which is true. I, I have since let it go. But something I learned very early on was that, you never allow someone to take you out of your element. So I made a mistake by retaliating and like throwing cinnamon and caramel after she like <laughs> threw cinnamon and caramel on me. But when the owners reached out to me to, to fire me at the age of 16, I was devastated. It was my first job. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm seriously devastated. Um, they said, you know, I'm wow, sorry. I just thought about this. They said, Brooke, like you are the, like she had only been working there for a couple months. You were the leader in this situation you had tenure, you set the expectations. So even if someone does something wrong, you don't double up their wrong with another wrong. Mm -hmm. And that fortunately I learned that behind a cold stone versus like in a, in a boardroom. Um, that's a, that's a lesson some leaders never actually learn. So it's great to learn that one early. Yeah. I learned it early with caramel sauce and cinnamon. Um, but that seriously has stuck with me early on. And even to this day, when I deal with folks, like folks in pretty authoritative positions who do something that's probably not right, um, I don't. I wouldn't say that I like I, I exactly think it about throwing cinnamon or caramel on them, but I do think about keeping my integrity in place and my morale intact, allowing them to behave the way they behave, but um, just having a response that embodies and encompasses like who I know I am as a person and what needs to get done and don't like do something negative to top something else that was negative. Yeah, it's really important to live up to the kind of leaders we say we want to be. Yeah. And that's a really good example of that. Yeah. Yeah. Don't throw caramel sauce and cinnamon on people. Like for first time on this podcast, <laughs> we talked about a caramel and caramel sauce and cinnamon fight. Yeah. And probably Hope the so. last. Rancho we'll Cucamonga. <laughs> Rancho <laughs> Victoria Cucamonga. Gardens. <laughs> Is that place still there? It is. It I is. might need to take a trip and yeah. say, this is the place. This is the place. This is where it went down. 